hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to solve the question number 25 from the CBSC sample paper 2024 for accountancy if you have missed out the previous videos and this link to the paper is there in the description box below the entire playlist you can find there where we have discussed and made things easy for you to understand and do it in the exam in no time in this sum we are going to solve question 25 which is a sum from debt of a partnership and you are required to prepare executor's account and this is the most talked about topic executor's account a lot of students face difficulties in preparing the executor account and understanding how to go about it we will discuss this in the video hit the like button if you like it and if you want to get notified hit the subscribe and the bell icon button so that you get notified whenever a new video is shared without further ado let's get started so we have a partnership where we have the old ratio given to us and Mahip is a person who is dying here and we have the balances given so first of all we have to calculate how much money Mahip is supposed to get that means let's calculate one by one how much money will be transferred to Mahib's executor's account from his capital account okay the first one that you see here the balance in his capital account that was 1,15,000 so he will get that then there is an interest on capital that he's supposed to get so that will be added his share of goodwill is to be calculated before that we have his share of profit which is already given so we will add that then if you see here firm's goodwill is given the goodwill of the firm on Mahib's death was 1,50,000 so out of that Mahib's share is 2 by 5 right based on the ratio given so in that case 2 by 5 of 1,50 that comes to 60,000 so that is Mahib's share of goodwill that will be added and point number D says there was a loan which was given to Mahib amount to 20,000 so that will be subtracted from the entire amount that he's getting it will be adjusted so 180,000 is the amount that Mahib is supposed to get you have, can show this in the working if you have confusion you can prepare your capital account as well Mahib's capital account to understand okay the question is not asking about Mahib's capital account so to save time you can prepare it in the workings all right so we have to prepare this and this Mahib's executors account and till the time it is finally settled all the steps we have to do so this amount 180,000 on Mahib's death which is 2020 June 30 on this date this will be transferred from Mahib's capital account to Mahib's executor's account the entry is Mahib's executor's account de credited so it's like Mahib's capital account will be debited so here we have to write Mahib's capital account 1,80,000 so journal is Mahib's capital account debit to Mahib's executor's account so transfer has been done now be very careful the question clearly says the year end is 31st March books are closed on 31st March every year he has we have the balance as on 30th June so we have to close the accounts every year on 31st March and again another point to be noted the first installment begins from 30th June 2021 so every year the installment will be paid on this date the interest charged on the outstanding amount is at the rate 10% per annum so from June we are moving now to March in this first year there is nothing paid so 2021 that will be March 31 by interest we have to calculate interest from July 1st till end of March how many months that's coming to 
that's coming to nine months, right? So that is important. This is important. Let's understand the calculation as well. One lakh eighty thousand into ten percent into nine by twelve. Okay. That will give us the interest for nine months. This is the area where a lot of students get confused. So be careful. Do it step by step so that there is no confusion. Thirteen thousand five hundred. I get the interest for nine months. Okay, and I have to close the books here on this date, thirty first March two thousand twenty one. So that becomes a two balance CD for me. On this date, nothing to be paid off. All right. So that's one lakh eighty thousand plus thirteen thousand five hundred. That becomes the total here. Okay, first year is done. However, we haven't paid anything yet. We have to do further entries. For that, let's move on. So we have now two thousand twenty-one, the beginning of the year, and we write April one. That buy balance BD, which is the same balance we had here, one lakh. Ninety-three thousand five hundred. Okay, in this is the beginning of a new financial year, and here in the month of June we are making the first instalment, right? So June thirty, we are making the first instalment. So for that we have to calculate interest, and that interest will be for how many months? That interest will be for three months, right? April, May, June. All right, and that will be again on one lakh eighty thousand. Don't confuse here. Again, I have seen students making mistakes here and calculating interest on one lakh ninety three five hundred. No, the outstanding amount is one lakh eighty. Interest is calculated on that. Don't make things complex for yourself. Understand things and do it easily. All right. So interest comes to four thousand five hundred. We have this is twelve months of interest, three months here, nine months here. A total interest of eighteen thousand. Right on the outstanding amount. So we come here to two thousand twenty-one. All right, and we pay off the first instalment. That's two bank account. For your understanding, we are paying it in three equal instalments, right? So three equal instalments means sixty thousand each. We have total outstanding one lakh eighty. So sixty thousand each for instalment amount. Sixty thousand. Plus thirteen thousand five hundred, plus four thousand five hundred, right? So that's is coming to seventy eight thousand. That becomes our first instalment where we have paid the principal of sixty thousand along with twelve months of interest that we calculated. So this payment is done. Now the year is not closed. We are in June, right? Now from June we will now go to The year end, which is March twenty-two. All right. Again, we will calculate interest for nine months from July till March. This time, the interest will be calculated not on one lakh eighty. We have paid off sixty thousand, right? So the outstanding amount is one lakh twenty thousand. On that. We will pay ten percent interest, and that will be for nine months. That's nine by twelve. This is simple. If you make things complex, you will be confused. Keep it 
easy for yourself understand the concepts so that you are able to do it correctly so 9000 is the interest that we are getting here okay so now we can close this year here there is nothing else that can be done we have to find out the balances the closing balance that comes on 31st March so let's make that entry to balance CD right let's do the total here as well so the balance will be straightforward the total here minus 78,000 so 129,000 is the balance all right just follow along if you want you can do it along there will be all your confusions you can understand and get them resolved here straight away okay let's bring down the balance now that we have on April 1 that becomes again by balance BD the same amount that we had here 129,000 we have to repeat the same cycle now there should not be any confusion just be careful about interest calculation so for June three months when we are calculating interest this will be again on 120,000 just that it will be for three months here also don't be confused and don't pick up 129,000 for interest calculation okay if you understand this your executors account will be simple and similar concept you have to use in partners loan account as well so 3000 is the amount here for three months you come here and you make the payment just that be careful about the dates right so this is the second installment let's break down the amount here 60,000 plus 9,000 the interest that we calculated above for nine months plus 3,000 the interest that we calculated just now so the second installment is worth 72,000 all right so we are in June now we head towards March and we calculate interest for the remaining nine months again be careful we have paid the second installment the outstanding amount is now just 60,000 so this interest will be calculated for the amount on this amount 60,000 okay understand if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments box these are easy to understand if you keep your concepts clear we have missed out the buy here division so 4500 is your interest for nine months okay so let's close this here as well and we will do the balance let's do the balance here that will be to balance CD on March 31 be careful about the dates guys the dates can make a lot of difference so this will be total of this side minus the installment amount that, is, that we have paid 64500 is your balance CD we are almost there 
just we have to do the balance BD, the interest, and will be done. The final installment will be paid off. So let's bring it here. And again, be careful about the dates. 2023, April 1, to balance BD. This amount that we have here, 64,500. Again, we calculate interest on June 30. This is our final interest. And this amount will be on 60,000. Okay. So that becomes 60,000 into the rate of interest into 3 by 12. 1,500 is the interest for 3 months. And let's make the final payment. June 30 to bank, the interest amounts will be 4500 and 1500. All right, so that comes to 66,000, and that is my final installment. Nothing else is remaining, entire money is paid off, and our executor's account is closed. This was required as a part of this solution. Be careful if you are careful about the dates, about the interest breakdown of 9 months and 3 months in this case. This makes your life easy. It is 9 months and 3 months in this case. Some other sum may have 8 months and 4 months. If you are clear with your concepts, you can easily do the sum without any confusion. If you find this helpful, hit the like button. Do share with your friends who do you think can benefit out of it. As I said, executor's account is the most talked about topic. A lot of students are scared, doesn't know how to start and how to finish it off. We'll catch you all in the next video in this series. Stay tuned till then. Thanks for watching, guys.